Hello and welcome. Thank you for joining us as we unravel the history of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict in our latest video. We dive deep into the how and what of the conflict. From ancient scriptures to modern history, we'll explore the sad conflict and its potential impact on the world today. Get to know the truth and share your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to Have you ever wondered how two groups of people, living side by side for centuries, ended up in one of the most persistent conflicts of our time? Let's take a journey back in time to a region steeped in history and brimming with cultural significance where the roots of this conflict lie. Nestled in the heart of the Middle East, the land known today as Israel and Palestine has always been a strategic gem, coveted by empires and civilizations from the dawn of history. Our story starts in the late 19th century under the rule of the Ottoman Empire. This vast empire stretching across three continents was a melting pot of ethnicities and religions. Among them were the Jews and Arabs, living side by side, though not always in harmony. Then in the early 20th century the Ottoman Empire fell, and the British took control. This period, known as the British Mandate, was a time of significant change. The Balfour Declaration of 1917, issued by the British government, expressed support for a national home for the Jewish people in Palestine. This declaration, though vague in its language, had profound implications. It planted the seeds of a national identity among the Jewish community, while at the same time, stoking fears and resentment among the Arabs. As the decades rolled on, these tensions simmered beneath the surface, occasionally boiling over into violence. Both communities began to see the other as a threat, each fearing the loss of their homeland. The British caught in the middle struggled to maintain control and keep the peace. And then, the world was plunged into the chaos of World War II. The horrors of the Holocaust amplified the Jewish call for a homeland, and the international sympathy for their plight grew. Meanwhile, the Arab community, fearing the loss of their land, became increasingly resistant. With the end of World War II, the conflict was set to escalate, setting the stage for the birth of two nations. As World War II ended, the world was about to witness the birth of a new nation and the beginning of a long-standing conflict. In the aftermath of the Second World War, the United Nations proposed a partition plan for Palestine, which was then under British control. This plan led to the establishment of the State of Israel in May 1948, a homeland for the Jewish people who had endured centuries of persecution and displacement. However, this wasn't a birth without complications. The creation of a Jewish state in what was largely Arab territory sparked outrage among the neighboring Arab nations. They saw this as a profound injustice to the Palestinians, many of whom were forced to flee their homes. This marked the start of the Palestinian refugee crisis, a painful and enduring issue that remains unresolved to this day. Within hours of Israel's declaration of independence, armies from Egypt, Jordan, Syria and Iraq launched an attack, marking the beginning of the Arab-Israeli war. It was a brutal and bloody conflict, with both sides suffering significant losses. By the time the fighting subsided in 1949, Israel had not only managed to survive the onslaught but also expanded its territory beyond what was initially proposed by the United Nations. The armistice agreements that ended the war saw the division of territories, with the West Bank under Jordanian control and the Gaza Strip under Egyptian rule. Israel, however, was not recognized by its neighboring Arab states and the status of Palestinian refugees remained a contentious issue. The conclusion of the war did not bring peace, but rather set the stage for more conflicts and tensions. The birth of a nation was also the birth of a conflict, a conflict that has continued to shape the Middle East's political, social, and cultural landscape for over seven decades. As we delve deeper into this complex history, we'll see how this period laid the foundations for the wars and uprisings that were yet to come. The conclusion of the war did not bring peace but rather set the stage for more conflicts and tensions. The following decades saw a series of wars and uprisings, further complicating the Israel-Palestine conflict. Let's delve into some of the major flashpoints that have shaped this ongoing struggle. In the late 60s, the Six-Day War erupted. It was as swift as it was decisive. Israel, perceiving an imminent threat from Egypt, Jordan and Syria, launched preemptive airstrikes against Egypt. Over the course of just six days, Israel not only neutralized the perceived threat, but also significantly expanded its territory, 
seizing the Sinai Peninsula, Gaza Strip, West Bank, East Jerusalem, and the Golan Heights. This rapid expansion and the subsequent occupation of these territories left an indelible mark on the geopolitical landscape, and the reverberations are still felt today. Less than a decade later, the Yom Kippur War broke out. On the holiest day in the Jewish calendar, Egypt and Syria launched a surprise attack on Israel in a bid to reclaim the territories lost in the Six-Day War. Despite the initial shock, Israel managed to repel the invading forces. However, the war exposed Israel's vulnerability and underscored the volatility of the region. In the midst of these wars the lives of everyday people were upended, the landscape was scarred by the wreckage of war, and the people were scarred by loss. The conflict was no longer a distant political issue. It had firmly entrenched itself in the fabric of their daily lives. Away from the battlefields, the latter part of the 20th century was marked by two major uprisings, or intifadas. The first intifada, which began in the late 80s, was characterized by civil disobedience, protests, and strikes by Palestinians in the occupied territories. The second intifada, starting in the year 2000, was marked by a much higher level of violence and loss of life. The international community, ever watchful, attempted to broker peace. The Camp David Accords, the Oslo Accords, and the Roadmap for Peace are just a few examples of these initiatives. These agreements, while noble in their intent, often fell short in their execution. The root issues of the conflict, such as the status of Jerusalem settlements and borders, proved to be stubborn obstacles on the path to peace. Despite these efforts, the conflict continued to simmer, periodically boiling over into full-blown confrontations. The region has become a tinderbox, with even the smallest spark capable of igniting a conflagration. Despite several peace initiatives the region remains a tinderbox, with peace still a distant dream. As we move forward it's crucial to remember the history behind the headlines. The events of the past not only explain the present but also offer lessons for the future. Scene script. Fast forward to today the conflict continues to shape the geopolitics of the Middle East. In the here and now, the Israel-Palestine conflict remains a central issue in the Middle East. Despite numerous attempts at peace, the situation remains tense and fraught with complexities. One of the most contentious issues in the conflict today is the matter of Israeli settlements. These are residential communities that have been built on lands occupied by Israel since the Six-Day War of 1967. The international community considers these settlements illegal under international law, but Israel disputes this. The status of Jerusalem is another point of contention. Both Israelis and Palestinians claim Jerusalem as their capital. Israel regards the entire city as its sovereign capital, while the Palestinians claim East Jerusalem occupied by Israel in 1967 as the capital of a future Palestinian state. This dispute over Jerusalem is not just about politics but also about identity, religion, and history. Now, let's turn our gaze towards the Gaza Strip. Since 2007, Gaza has been under a blockade imposed by Israel and Egypt, citing security concerns. The blockade has resulted in severe economic hardship and humanitarian issues with high levels of poverty and unemployment. It's a stark reminder of how the conflict impacts the everyday life of people in the region. Life under the shadow of the conflict is a reality for both Israelis and Palestinians. Fear, tension and uncertainty have become part of their daily existence. They live with the constant reminder of the conflict whether it's through security checkpoints, separation walls, rocket attacks, or protests. In many ways, the Israel-Palestine conflict has become a symbol of a never-ending cycle of violence, retaliation, and suffering. It's a wound that continues to bleed, a fire that refuses to be extinguished. The Israel-Palestine conflict continues to be a complex issue, with no easy solutions in sight. Yet, amidst the strife and struggle, there remains a glimmer of hope, a belief that peace, however elusive, is possible. And that's a story for another day. So what have we learned about the Israel-Palestine conflict? We've journeyed through the annals of history, from the untold beginnings that set the stage for this ongoing strife, to the birth of a nation, and the inception of an enduring conflict. We've witnessed the harrowing tales of wars and intifadas, the uprisings that have marked the timeline of this dispute with their indelible ink. The current scenario is a testament to the complexity of this issue. It is not merely a territorial dispute or a political tug of war, but a labyrinth of historical grievances, cultural clashes, and broken promises. And yet, amidst the political maneuverings and territorial disputes, let's not forget the human cost of this conflict. 
The real victims are the ordinary people caught in the crossfire, their lives forever marked by the specter of this ongoing conflict. As we delve into the history of this conflict, we realize that it is not just a political or territorial dispute but a human tragedy that continues to unfold.